Hello friends and welcome to the Berry Celtic Festival, the largest Celtic festival in the Shoalhaven. Let's see what fun we can get up to today. Here we go, entering the event. Sorry for the shaky camera, I was, there's a lot of mud. A lot, a lot of mud. That's the little shopping area they had with all the Celtic products, so got some nice stuff from there. That's a Celtic warrior. And that is the Knights of the Southern Cross Battle Encampment. Now let's get started on to the opening ceremony. Too muddy to see there anyway. some photos. Bumping me, Mum. And 
now the Scottish Jacobites. Auxiliary. Thank you, ladies. Ladies and gentlemen, can we have a big warm welcome to the Jacobites? Hey! Morning, ladies and gents. We're from the Scottish Soldier. And uh, once I get my little guys here, arranged to be better, spread out this way. See you guys. Where you are, get along, double pace. Yeah, leave a spot for Mark. Okay, ladies and gents, you can see that we're not in a uniform. Why do you think that is? We're not the government. <laughs> we're any government. As a matter of fact, the Jacobites are all about bringing back the Scottish monarch rather than the English monarch Yay! into Scotland. <laughs> we're excited! I can tell. But it's strange that we, um, we don't support the government, but we all carry government arms. Most of us here are carrying brown best muskets. They fire a three quarter of an inch, 19 millimeter round lead ball, guaranteed to spoil the government state. The Jacobites came about, uh, well, there's three different forms of the, the Jacobite uprisings. What we're representing, is roughly what the, the, uh, the Jacobite would have been wearing in the 45. So you can see there's a mix of short kilts, great kilts, trues, just basically because it depends upon where the person's from and what they're doing. The short kilts had already started to be worn by then, particularly amongst people who were working in uh, fields like uh, barrier, iron, that sort of stuff. purely because the, the great kilt stuff got a bit uh, in the way. So they decided to cut it down. Uh, now what I'd like to do is show you these lovely brown breast muskets and uh, get the guys to show you how slow they are to load. And then we'll, we'll fire off a volley. So. Now the English army used to do a lot of drill with mu muskets, obviously. Now they were supposed to be firing three to four shots a minute. Now the fact that we weren't government doesn't mean that a lot of the guys weren't ex-soldiers or didn't know what they're doing. see that they've got to use a ramrod to push it all down. Now that was one, one shot, ladies and gents. Paint ready. High angle present. Fire. Who's away? <laughs> Reload. Now you can see that one didn't go off. That's pretty much what used to happen. You'd, you'd normally have to allow for a mass volley because not all of them always went off. Ah, he's not getting a spark. Now what that means is the flint that strikes the steel at the back of the musket on the lock is not creating enough sparks when it goes there. So he's either got a dirty flint or a dirty piece of steel. Now the rest of his mates are all now looking at him saying, you're becoming a liability. Yeah, you're better off with this. <laughs> <laughs> now that's as silly as it sounds, because Highlanders were well known for the fact that they would fire one shot, drop their muskets, draw their swords and charge in. 
something that was pretty much to their detriment, really. Now, obviously in 1745, the only good thing about the fact that these are so slow to load is the other side are just as slow. Okay.
Now, if you're doing this while an animal's charging at you, you're going to be pretty, pretty good. Make ready. Present. High angle. Fire. Grab your arms, draw, and charge. Ladies and gentlemen, we're just going to stop them. <laughs> oh. race horse, I'm <laughs> and now the Knights of the Southern Cross. Thank you. 
And last, but certainly not least, we have the flower of our field, ladies and gentlemen. Again, a lady who has only recently taken up jousting, but is absolutely flooring her opponents in a totally deadly manner, but also with grace and charm. I have the Lady Liberty! Yay!
with a rock. He'll actually get a rock and rock you. Okay. No! Yep, Tony took a bit of a slip there, but he's fine. Mm. That's a very beautiful horse. Very Damn, horse. slippery. I know, okay. we just put a cannon yeah. on that grate. Okay. So Daryl's getting his helmet on now. He should be just about ready to go. Oh, 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 oh. As you can see, Tony is so large, he's quiet to get up and all that and put his helmet on. Who's first? I'm presenting this in your gut. Daryl, I'm leaving. Oh, well, I thought it was. Oh, here it goes, down in. I was wasting time already getting ready. Now I'll do it. Oh, yeah. I said the other day. I knew. Okay, the ground crew already. The mountain crew are just ready. They pull that out of the ground. Mm. And, uh, said, yes, we are. So we'll just test those buzzers one more time to make sure we're all ready here. Can I have a cheer for Sir Justin? Yeah! <laughs> okay, I don't think I'm the further away. He's still going to be spectacular. Right, I like you. Where are they going to put it? Actually, probably here. Well, the last couple of times this has been on, one of the horses has just said no. So Justin is hiding his steely countenance behind a steely countenance. Looks like Sir Justin was a little ready before Sir Darrell. <laughs> <laughs> oh, don't do that. <laughs> <laughs> I play Mitch. <laughs> They're like cars, they make a lot of them up. Get my Yoli World Yeah. You have a touch on this lane. Yep, I will, no, no, I will call that a touch for Sir Darrell. One point. Yay! Yay! <laughs> 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 
And I can see that Lady Liberty is fully booted, burned, and ready to go here, ladies and gentlemen. So Daryl turning on Pony. The Lady Liberty is mounted on Dragonfly today. And has an absolutely magnificent medieval saddle. If you do get a chance to have a look at it, it is an authentic reproduction of a medieval saddle. Well and truly keeps us seated. Here we go, thundering down now. Hey! Oh, I believe that is two points apiece. A shadow for the Lady Liberty? Or shadow for the Justice? Okay. We have the shatter for the Lady Liberty. Yay! That's the spirit grandstand. That's your. No, it's just the justice. What am I saying? <laughs> Okay, so Daryl is ready. 
Here we go, here we go. Hey! Just a touch. Just a touch for the lady to be. Right, just turning around again, ready to get this plan for the There we go. Thundering down, ladies and gentlemen. Oh. No touch. I don't believe we might call that a touch there to Sir Darrell. I don't believe that lady got nothing to leave with it. Great. Hello, William. Three passes apiece, all of our riders. So we have the final four. Tied for second place. We have, on seven points apiece, the Lady Liberty and Sir Darrell. Yay! And as we come to the end of this video, guys, I hope you really enjoyed it. I'll try and upload as much as I can when I can. So until next time, guys. See you later in the next video.